Today we're gonna be coloring a music video for Drake. Drake? Drake just dropped a brand new music video for Jumbotron shit poppin'. I've taken some of the clips from the video, converted them into flat footage so they can be colored. I'm gonna be coloring all these clips using my LUT pack that's on my website. If you guys wanna go grab it, there are over 250 plus unique LUTs in there. If you guys wanna follow along with your own LUTs as well, that is okay. All right, so we're gonna start on this clip right here. As you can see, we have the flat footage and then this is how it looks colored in the music video. We're gonna get started by going to project, right clicking, creating a new item, and then creating an adjustment layer. I like the color on adjustment layers because it makes it so so much easier just to add the effects and turn them on and off so we're gonna do that just like so so we have an adjustment layer on for each clip here to get started we're gonna go up to our good old friend lumetri color here go over to creative hit look under none hit browse and we're gonna open up my LUT pack here so now we have the tiny tapes ultimate LUT pack open as you guys can see there are over 250 LUTs in here 282 total and then we have seven film LUTs so we're gonna go with a completely random LUT here and let's see how 209 looks that kind of adds a cool stylized look to it let's roll with this go back into basic correction here we're going to spice it up a little bit by adding a little bit more highlights to it, adding the saturation, back up, playing with the green, playing with the orange, and then bringing the shadows down a tiny, tiny bit, bringing the whites up. We don't want to blow them out too much, bringing the blacks down. And that's a cool look there. I really like how that looks. So this is comparing it to the original one and then my stylized look from my LUT pack. If you guys want to spice it up a little bit more, what we could do is hold alt, drag this clip up to duplicate it. So there's two of them, go up to effects, and I'm just going to apply my Tiny Tapes Vintage Glow here, which is also linked on my website. As you guys can see, it makes the highlights glow, which is a really cool look. And then going to effect controls and playing with the opacity you guys can turn that up and down and cater it to your liking so this is with it on and then off i think it adds a cool unique look this is before and then after let's move on to the next one guys all right so we have this scene here in the rolex store we're gonna go ahead go into the adjustment layer and open up lumetri color just like before go into creative hit look browse and once again we are back in our LUT pack here let's go with another random LUT. i'm gonna go with uh 133 it's kind of a cool blue tone i like the way that looks i think it kind of adds to the film look as well let's go in and play with the contrast turn that up a little bit turn the shadows down turn the highlights up and then we could play with the saturation a tiny bit more i'm gonna add some orange into this because i don't want to add too much blue i just want to bring out his face a little bit more we can turn the whites down a tiny bit the blacks up and that's a cool look there as you guys can see we have the before and then the after kind of a cool blue look and if you guys want to change the color of it at all to a little bit more orangey you can do that here if you want to make it pink I like the way this looks here. And then if we want to get the halation that they used in the video quite a bit, what we can do is we can go into a plugin called Dehancer Pro. I'm just going to drag and drop that on. We're going to go in and turn off the film profile here. And then going into halation, we can turn that on. And halation just adds the cool red lines around things. So if I bring this up a little bit, we can amplify it. As you can see, see his shoulder right there? If I turn into mask mode, you can't really see it. But his shoulder there and a little bit of his wrist has the halation. If I turn up the local diffusion, it'll show a lot more. But we don't want that much of it. This video has a lot of this because it was actually shot on film. So if you guys want to add that as well, you can get that from Dehancer. And we can turn on the bloom as well here to make the some areas glow that should be. And this is a really simple and easy way to get a film look. You can also go through here and add film grain. I'm not the biggest fan of their film grain, if I'm being completely honest. I like using my own film grain, which I have on my website on a pack. But let's move into the next one here. All right, so this is a really cool scene. I love the way he looks in this. We're going to go ahead once again, Lumetri Color, boom, creative, boom, go up to browse. Once again, back in the LUT pack here. Let's go with a random one. Let's go with the very last one here, 282. I like that look there. Let's go ahead and stylize it a little bit more by turning up the contrast, turning down the shadows just to kind of focus on him mainly. Turn up the whites, turn down the blacks a little bit, turn up the highlights, and then turning up the saturation there. Boom. I like the way that looks. Maybe add a little bit of a green tint to it. And that looks really good there. This is how it looks before and then after with my coloring. I love the way this looks, guys, especially if we go up and add that vintage glow to it drag and drop that on there Boom. he's glowing like crazy once again like i told you guys if we go in and you can turn the opacity down on it to kind of have it slightly glowing so this is without it and with the glow it looks really cool and if we go ahead and add that same dehancer if we just copy it and paste it here halation is going to be a little bit crazy but we can go in and turn it down under the amplify section so just have it peaking a little bit there if you guys like that look totally up to you guys um, i'm going to turn it off but yeah this is a really cool one i love the way this looks for after really cool stylized look and now we have in front of the ferrari here let's go ahead and spice this one up with our luts go into browse go with a random one here i'm gonna go with 203 we're gonna have to spice it up a little bit by turning up the highlights maybe turning the contrast up a little bit more the saturation is most definitely gonna have to come up here the whites the blacks can go down that's a cool stylized look right there this is how it looks before and then after 
And then if we go ahead and we add that same dehancer on, as you can see, the halation is looking really good on the scene. Looks super clean. If you guys found this video helpful and want to go support me, the love pack is linked in the description below. It is on sale currently. Go help yourself out and spice up your edits. I also have two banger tutorials linked above if you guys want to go check them out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more content in the future. Peace.